Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah. I'm the owner and maker of Tumbling with Savannah and I teach Tumblr tutorials here on YouTube. Summer is right around the corner here in the mountains. I think it was like 80 some degrees today. It definitely feels like summer. People are going to start camping soon. So that combined with this image here was one of my main inspirations for this Tumblr. Now a glitter tree line sunset isn't a new technique but I absolutely loved it and I love how this turned out and I'm going to show you how I made it. So all the products are going to be listed down below for you guys. If you have any questions drop them down in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them and help you guys any way I can. I think that's about it. Um, if you liked this video go ahead and give me a like. Hit the subscribe and the bell button so you don't miss any more of our future tutorials. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, y'all, so I've already prepped and spray painted my cup. Um, depending on the colors you used or want to use then that will determine the color spray paint that you do but anyway I am going in with the epoxy method because I want the longest working time possible to establish a good ombre on my tumbler so this is love potion from peachy all glitters and that's gonna go on the top here And I'm just going around the top rim, just doing a very thin line. This is kind of like my dark, moody, top of the, you know, sunset. It's like kind of hitting dusk at this point. So now I'm going in with dress blues. And we're just going to ombre that into the top. And then now we're going in with Simplify. I will have all these colors listed down below for you. You guys can use any number of color combinations that you want. I just wanted like a really dark moody sky. That's what the look I was going for. But if you guys wanted to do, you know, any other colors, you totally could. But basically, we're just going to keep um, ombre in our colors. I'm not doing like a super strong ombre. Um, you guys could totally put this on your turner and have it spin around and just lay your glitter colors that way. Um, you know, it's just totally up to you however you guys want to do it and what's ever easiest for you. So now I'm going to use Boudoir and then I'm going to use Figgy. Um, if you had another like deep dark moody red like firefox maybe that might look good i just worked with what i had um so after i do that i'm gonna go in with knuckles and then um i believe it was pearl um i'm not quite sure on that but everything will be listed down below so honestly with the tree line this um knuckles didn't even get used so you could totally cut out pearl as well um, I didn't know where my tree line was going to be laying at and how much of that was going to be showing, but it still looked good in the end. So once that, you, once your glitter gets dry and it like your epoxy dries overnight, I did go in and I did three coats of this clear gloss sealer. And then after that was dry, I epoxied it two to three times just until all your um, bumps and stuff are smoothed out. And then if you need to do any sanding, you can at that point. Um, my cup was pretty smooth and I didn't have to um, sand too many spots. So then I just cut this tree line out with my Cricut, just with regular black vinyl. Alternatively, you could also reverse weed this and do a stencil and spray paint your tree line on if you wanted to do that. I think you get the same effect just with laying your vinyl um, and it just kind of saves you a step. So that's what I did here. So once my tree line was on, I went ahead and I did my all of my other decal work as well. Gave that a really good um, seal with a clear gloss spray paint because I didn't want any of my vinyl to pull up. 
And then once that was done, we did our final um, like sanding, we established our rim at the top, and we also spray painted the bottom, and then we went into our final coats of epoxy. And this is the final result. I thought it was so super cute, perfect for summer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below, and I will see you next time. If you like this video, you can check out our last one here, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest. We're all over the place, and I'd love to see you over there. 